Hey there marketers, this is Natalie with the Influence Marketing Platform and today we are talking about CRM lead reactivation campaigns and how you can build them using our platform. So these campaigns are great if you're using a CRM and marketing automation integration like through Dynamics or Salesforce and they're also awesome for really reinforcing sales and marketing alignment. So the way that these kinds of campaigns work is that ideally you have a list in your CRM system that's controlled by your sales team. So the sales team will feed in any leads that they're unable to reach, but that they know are high value into a specific marketing list, which then integrates to influence. And then you can set up a nurture that runs for however long you feel like is the best campaign length, depending on your sales cycle. And it runs on behalf of your sales team. So it's a great way for the marketing team to make sure that the leads that they're working hard to drive in are still being worked efficiently while also making sure that the sales team has time to really work on some of the hot leads that are more likely to close in a quick time frame. So let's take a look at how this works. Starting off here, you'll see that we've built a workflow. And really what we need to do is just connect our CRM marketing list right here to a group and influence that gets fed automatically. Once a salesperson drops someone into that marketing list in CRM, make sure that they know what that means is that the person who receives that, uh, that list is gonna get an immediate email. So in this case here, we're gonna run this campaign ASAP and we're gonna send an email right away that basically says, hey, checking in on your request from custom 15. Now, if you have an option to do so, it's always a great idea to include the person's original lead source. That way, when the person who's receiving this email sees checking in on your request from, it'll say the source campaign pulled over from the CRM system, whether that's a trade show or a pay per lead ser service or a website lead, and it'll help them remember that maybe at some point they actually asked for the information they're being sent and they just never followed it up with the salesperson. Next, you'll see that what we've got here is some customization pulled from who owns the record in CRM. Here's where that CRM sales and marketing alignment really comes into play because it's going to look like the email is coming from the person who owns that record. So the first point of contact that this lead would have had with your company, ideally with the salesperson. Next, you'll see that we're going to reinforce some of our, our values here, some of the things that we know are really important to us, but we're also going to make sure that this email looks like it's coming from an Outlook inbox. And if this lead replies, it's going to go back to that salesperson's inbox as well. You'll see here we've got some company variables and another reminder as well on the source campaign, which really just helps to customize and also serve as that reminder, hey, this is what you were originally introduced to us through. And we'd like to remind you that we're still looking to get in touch with you. Once you get through that first email, you'll set a wait step that makes sense for your business. So it doesn't make sense to check in necessarily every other day or even every week, but based on some of your sales data that you probably have in your CRM system or through conversations with your sales team, you can determine an appro appropriate wait step. For us here, we're just gonna use 30 days as an example, basically saying that after we send this initial no contact um, outreach email, we're gonna check back in 30 days later and see if they might be ready to talk then. In that case, we're still going to stick with this Outlook style email. And very important to note that even if it looks like an Outlook style email, you still want it to have those can spam options down here at the bottom, like your address, a link to your website, and a click to manage your communication preferences so that you're staying in compliance with can spam. So here we've still got some of our variables that we're pulling from our CRM system. We have the company name, we've got our salesperson that's being pulled from Dynamics or from Salesforce, including a fallback variable just in case something happens with that record. And here you'll see that we're gonna add some other competitive information and a click to sign up directly with that salesperson and schedule an appointment. We personally like Calendly for this, but there are lots of calendar scheduling tools you could use here. Next. We're gonna wait an appropriate amount of time, again, through conversation with your sales team. This time we'll say 60 days. We'll send another email. Once again, we're gonna make it look like it's coming from that salesperson's Outlook inbox, and we're just gonna incorporate a little bit more information as well as a reminder that, hey, you reached out to us in the first place. We'd still like to try to schedule an appointment with you, but no pressure. And finally, we're gonna send that last email. So here we're waiting a full 180 days. So we're waiting quite a bit of time and you may wanna reference the fact that it's been about a year since we last talked with this person. In this case, we're saying it's been a few months since you've requested information from us, from this original lead source, and then asking them, did you wind up making a decision? So from here, you may even consider adding in a survey um, or you may wanna say, hey, can you let us know if you went with someone else, who was it? So that you can share that competitive insight with your sales team too. 
And the last thing you want to consider doing is adding these people into a retargeting group at the very end. So if you make it all the way through this inbound lead nurture and you never do wind up getting in touch with this lead, that doesn't necessarily mean they're lost forever. It just means you might want to try a different channel. In this case, you can link this to a remarketing ad, um, possibly through digital display advertising, or you may want to add them to a direct mail campaign or try something a little bit different. But either way, you've got a way to capture some of that data.